Hi, I needed to create some rotary knobs for a project I was working on which had multiple rotary encoders. This is how I created those knobs in Fusion 360. The basics, um, very simple, starting with a sketch, um, creating uh, a circle 14 millimeters in diameter, and on the edge of that I created a one millimeter circle. Um, I then created an offset plane um, at the height of the, the knob, which was 12 millimeters. I then created uh, another circle sketch on that plane, which is 13 millimeters, so one millimeter less than the bottom. And again, I put another one millimeter um, uh, sketch on the edge of that. So. Uh, to make life easier later on, I did a, an axis through um, the planes that will be used uh, for rotations and the like later on. Um, once I had the sketches, uh, I did a loft to create a uh, part of the cone, uh, which I used as the base for the knob. Uh, once I had that, um, I created a, um, a, a fillet of one millimeter just to make it nice at the top and then I added a base to the, the whole knob of one millimeter um, basically the serrations on the knob I didn't want them to go right to the bottom of the, um, the knob so that's the extruded base which is one millimeter deep and we've got the basic shape for the knob now we do a loft again of the two smaller circles um, and this is um, a loft which is actually cutting through the uh, knob base so once we have that one knob we, we tidy up the bottom of it by again putting uh, one it's actually a 0.48 millimeter fillet at the base of the um, of that channel Next up, we need a few more of those, um, those channels. So um, we go for the circular pattern tool, <coughs> selecting both the, the fillet and the channel. Um, we want 16 of those, but we need space in the knob. So we only put those, those channels in for 300 degrees of the knob, leaving us a flat space for us to, to add um, uh, a line and an arrow. Um, once we've got the, all the serrations, uh, we just rotate the knob just to make it, it more convenient um, to do the, the next part of the, um, the decoration of the knob. Next we create um, uh, a tangent plane to the area we want to work on now because the, um, we, we want to do the decoration effectively flat against that, um, um, that uh, profile that we have here. So the idea here is we're back to sketching. Um, we want a three millimeter Oh, sorry, a 1.5 millimeter line on the knob, and uh, oh, sorry, uh, and 1.5 um, areas of black either side of it. So we draw out the, the rectangles using the rectangle sketch tool. Um, so we have the ability to extrude um, the right shapes on the front of the knob, and once we have those sketched out. We'll do the same sketches um, on the top of the knob as well.
back with the rectangle tool and we're just um, drawing some basic outlines for the one and a half millimeter central line and the one and a half millimeter areas either side of that central line. these match up with the, the, um, the lines that are on the, the edge of the line. side of the knob we're actually going to do it slightly deeper because of the curve of the um, of the knob we want to make sure that the um, um, that there's definition on, on the knob um, on both sides not just the central portion uh, and the, the reason for that is simply that it makes painting them easier small fillet on the on the edges there just to, to round it off. Next up we're back to the sketch and we're creating um, a triangle on the top which we're using it for an arrow. So the polygon, polygon goes in Once we have the tangent plane, we use the split body tool using that offset plane to give us the shape that we need for the um, for the stop. And, and now we've got the right shape, so we just extrude it back in by a cut into the um, into the body, and then we neaten off the edges with a chamfer. That's it, job done. Just have to export it as an STS, 